Hey there guys and welcome to my very first paint.net HD tutorial and today I'm going to be showing you how to use this gradient tool um, show you the name, it's right here, the gradient tool and um, I used it to make this corridor right here, I used it to make the lines and I used it to make like the, the kind of faded colour toning that makes it look like a corridor uh, in my opinion it makes it look like a corridor anyway um, here's a few other things I made, you make intersecting lines um, which look quite cool you can you can like negate them uh, negation if you want them to look like the opposite colors I think that looks pretty cool and uh, here's something that you may have seen if you've looked at my channel this is my channel fan art channel art thing um, and you can see the gradient lines in the background which is what I used to make I will also be showing you in a different video how to make the drop down shadow which I've got right here how to make uh, these all like tilted like I have and how to like give them the noise I'll show you those in a different video but in this video I'm going to be focusing on how to do this which is use the gradient tool to like just do some cool things so here we go we'll go over new go for 800 by 600 so we we'll start off with a very basic uh, gradient tool which is fading from one color to the other primary to se uh, primary to secondary I got that right okay so uh, as you can see my primary is black secondary is white so it's going to go from black to white if I change these, I can change it to blue, I can change it to red, I can change it to blue, and if I change the secondary colour to red, so you can see they'll mix together. If I change the secondary colour to green, I change it to blue, it'll just make a colour. So um, we'll change these back, and um, there's five different types of uh, gradients. There, we've got the linear uh, reflected, which uh, it does this, but it does it like this. Instead of just putting it from one color to the other, it it does that, but it does it both ways. So it'll put it from that color, so it'll put it from black to white, and then from here it'll put it to black to white. So the center will be the like the primary color, and then it'll just radiate out in both directions in the secondary color. If that makes sense to you guys, hopefully it does. So you can make some pretty cool stuff. I just showed you here the lines. You just you'd uh, make a line on one layer. You make a new layer, you double click it, and then darken it. Um, if you're using black background and white lines, I think you lighten it. Um, the layers are quite uh, funny like that. They will change for different colors, and um, it can be quite confusing. So if you're wanting to make what I'm making, I suggest using... Uh, like black or a co color that will darken, not lighten. I I don't know. Um, if you're not too like newbie at it, you could make a, you could make an alright one, like uh, different colors and you can make it cool. So if you've got the imagination for this, guys, you can make something really cool. So um, if we do this and we darken this again, okay. Let's start my headset. It's annoying me um, and then we can make like another line here or we could just like fade this side out right here or you can do rakes of different stuff if I just get the diamond I click right here and I like radiate out kind of looks like a corridor I think it does you could like do it up here if you wanted I don't know you could make like a mini corridor up here <laughs> I don't know you can you can do lots of stuff with this okay we'll get the circle one here which will radiate out in a circle and um, as you can see here goes from like black to white or whatever colors you have but like in a circle fashion and then this one I find really quite weird I don't understand that you can move this close down to here you can like do this I don't really understand this one I suppose you can make like a spotlight like this uh, of, or you can make the colors fade like that and yeah this one's not my, f it's not my favorite. This one, I've never actually used this one successfully. I don't think. Um, but if you've got the imagination, guys, I'm sure you could think of something to use this with. Um, and you can use the merge layer to merge it all together. And now I've merged that together. So yeah, hope you guys have enjoyed this tutorial. Hope it's helped you uh, in learning what the gradient tool does. If you'd like me to try and do a more in-depth tutorial and make something really cool using Gradient, then I will do so. If you want to learn uh, how to use some of these other tools, 
just uh, drop a comment and I'll make a video on how to use them. Pretty sure you should know how to use the pencil, the paintbrush, the paint bucket and the text because they've all been like from basic paint and I'm sure we've all messed about with basic paint at some point. Um, but there is more complex one like obviously the gradient, um, well none of them anyway. There's other things you can do like you've got like effects, there's lots of different effects I've got. Um, you probably won't have these because it is a plugin, but I will link the plugin so you can get it and you can use all these. Um, I may very well do a video where I make like a video of all how like what all the blurs do, what all the color things do. But there's only two of them, so I'd probably do colors and I don't know noise maybe together. Um, I don't know what I'm gonna do. So I hope you've enjoyed this part of the tutorial. Um. If you have enjoyed this, obviously, please leave it a like, a favourite, and uh, subscribe to my channel for more. I do gaming videos also. Um, I just thought I'd do this for a little bit of fun, which is what I like to do my videos for. And um, this is one of my hobbies, so I thought, why not do it? So, um, yeah. I'll see you guys all in the next video. Don't forget to tune in next time. Bye.